people are inspired by what is a niece and nephew. If you didn't have kids, you have a niece and nephew or somebody out there who's looking at you, some little boy, some little girl is checking you out. Somebody on Instagram, somebody on Facebook, somebody on YouTube, somebody on TikTok. No, I really can't complain. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Zante from the official <laughs> here back with another motivation for you. Guys, listen, it's been a minute since I put a motivation, but yet we live the motivation through our videos. Um, we are very happy and very creative, uh, being creative, daring, and being inspired. And that's what we put at the end of the videos. If you have not seen it, watch a full video. When you get to the end of the video, that's exactly what we're portraying. So, guys, creativity is number one. Being daring. First, you gotta dare. You gotta one. You gotta be creative. Then you gotta take time to dare yourself to go out there. You know, push yourself. Be daring to step out. Step out on faith. And then you gotta inspire. You gotta finish it off with the inspire. Being into inspiring somebody. But first, before you can inspire anybody else, you gotta be able to inspire yourself, right? You gotta be able to be inspired by something that's pushing you to inspire someone else. You know, each it's the each one teach one method, right? That's all I gotta say. Guys, welcome back to another video, guys. Um, appreciate you and all you guys for taking time to just listening um, and watching uh, what we do. Guys, check me out on Instagram, Zante Baker. That's it, my full name. Zante Baker, that's it. I wouldn't say that's my full name, that's my first last name. But Zante Baker, check me out on, on that. I will be doing some more videos on just little small little things or just posting on motivation of other people guys if you guys got some inspiring things send them to me guys hit, hit me up on instagram hit me up on instagram and talk to me see listen we got facebook we got twitter um we still trying to get the twitter going and everything still trying to get that out there but the biggest thing is really our instagrams our tiktoks and really our our youtube basically of course but um Guys, take time. If you guys got anything that you want to talk about, anybody that's going through something that wants to talk about or want it to be talked about or, pre or presented because you can't, you can't talk about it. Let's do it. All right. Let's get there. So, um, guys, let's jump right into it. Guys, um, this video that you're, you're checking out right now is all about what, what you clicked on. Okay. So everything that was created, everything that's made comes from the heart straight from the heart you know it's um i'm a believer of christ i'm a believer of god um no matter what um i have a father that i look up to um a heavenly father all right so i get in that word i lead i read other books as well um guys i am pushing to be a motivator on for my family to a whole nother level now i know god placed me in this world to lead by example that's one but two to me to be creative the way I am, the creativity that he has put into me, because he is the all-time creator. He's the all-star of all creation, right? So basically, he's put me as a man. I really know I noticed that my purpose as a man that I need to take time to be a creative husband, a creative father, um, and a creative leader to many people. Because there are so many people who are looking to do the things that I'm doing right now and master it. Um Lord, I, I, I Lord knows that. I want to be at i want to be great in all of those so where i'm coming to jump it right into everything that i'm going to guys all i have to say in this message right here and i hope this hits you and i hope you think about it i hope you take time to pray on it if you pray if you don't take time to even just dwell on it for a little bit of the message that's coming across right now guys no matter what you do you always hear me talk about pushing always talking about never giving up but what is the reason why we should not give up? Why, what's the reason why we should not give up? Okay, there's so many reasons why many of us shouldn't give up. Some of us have so much to lose at one time the same, at the same as we wanna get, we want to offer. So guys, 
You gotta think about your own position, where you are, where you're standing. What do you have to lose? Um, we're not talking about material things. We're not talking about the money. We ain't talking about the cars. We ain't talking about any of that stuff. We are talking about simply, what do you got to lose? Children, let's get deeper. We talking about children. We talking about a wife. You're talking about just your legacy alone. Maybe you got grandkids. See, this message ain't just for the youth. It's also for the old as well. Some people at an older age forget what they what they were put in place for. They forget where they where they stand, and they forget all the things behind them. Or what they're supposed to be doing it for. In the word, so many times, and and you got so many people have so many different beliefs, but it all most of them all teach the same exact thing about breaking it down by sitting there teaching that next generation the next moves. That the next generation is the ones who's going to be leading us. Okay, we lead them now because they're young, but at the same time, we need to lead. We need to lead by example, no matter what, even when they get older. So when they get older, they're leading the next generation under them. It's just a full circle, circle of life, right? That's what <laughs> Lion King, right? So, <clears throat> so guys, you need to take time to really take time to think about what is so important to you. What is what is you pushing for? I just use myself. Okay, I'm pushing, as you can see, the official Baker squad. It's not just a family who does pranks, motivations, um, doesn't do just traveling and stuff like that. No, we want to be different. We don't want to be like every other family that you see on YouTube. Every family has, are inspired by each other. That's why you see similar videos come across, similar challenges and things like that. Yes, YouTube has created a way for us to be creative out there. But guess what? Everybody doesn't have to do the same exact thing. Now we might do it all a little twist, but one thing that you need to identify is you need to subscribe or follow the families who you feel like you can relate to. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to follow a family that don't relate to you at all. Like, you know, like that you just don't get with or that you're not inspired by. You just hit the subscribe button, you hit the notification bell, and you hit the like button for a reason. Okay, that's how this whole YouTube thing works. That's how all the social medias are starting to work. So guys, when it comes down to that, you need to realize that who are you following that is inspiring you? Are you being inspired? And if you are being inspired, is it pushing you? Is it pushing you to do more than your norm? Okay, so we don't give up. We ain't supposed to give up at all on any of these things that we wanna push out to, to do. So what is you? what are you doing it for? Uh, hopefully it's not the money because if it's for the money you're gonna shortcome yourself just like that you, you, your inspiration doesn't even come from that you won't be able to step out the way you need to step out so guys I have to tell you straight off the top right now keep the money out the equation if you have children adults if you have children that's what you should be doing it for your children your children is monitoring you, watching you. So no matter if you want TikTok, no matter if you want YouTube, no matter if you want Facebook, at the end of the day, you have to portray to them the proper way of how to handle life. If you're acting all out of crazy, all out of out of place, and acting all strange, and you using different faces, which is a whole nother subject, using different faces on different situations, and they're actually looking at you like, wait a minute, you was just talking to this person, but you're talking to this person. You can't be on the phone talking trash about somebody on the phone and gossiping about this person, and then you're getting on the phone with the next person and they even gossiping. The, 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 you, the same person that you was gossiping about, now you're on the phone with them, being all nice. Hey, when we going out, when we do this, you can't do that. The kids are watching, they're looking at you. And then top it off, you're lying to yourself, and you're just causing problems amongst yourself to the point that your kids will look at you and say, okay, I'm a mimic of what they do. They do what they see. They don't do what you say though. You know what I mean? I don't even know that's the, the right frame. I can't get it. It's a certain phrase that people say, but all I know is that kids from experience, the children mimic what they see. Okay, what the actions take place in their home and what they do, if you see them acting out, it's, it's what they're around, what they're used to. Okay, so we have to take time to mold ourselves. Sometimes you're gonna see your child acting out of control. And children, the ones that who are watching right now, listen, you can't sit there and say, I don't do it, I don't do it. Yeah, you do it, you just don't understand that you do it. And at the end of the day, if you see that your parent is taking time to act out of control and you know it's not right, at some point, if you say that you go to church, say if you're, you do have a high, uh, 
a higher, a higher power that you believe in or say it's something that you just believe in your heart that is just not right you got to step up to your parent and talk to them talk to them one-on-one -on -one and just say hey you know mom what's that about dad what's that about or talk to someone if you don't have your mom and dad okay maybe your uncle or brother somebody who's older than you and talk to them like hey what this is there's something wrong here okay so guys while we don't give up we don't give up on anything that we push for in life you don't give up on your life that's the number one you don't give up on your life because there's so many people who are out there who are taking time who wants to out themselves who wants to take the exit who say i can't do this anymore say i don't want to do this anymore and at when, and when you come to that point you feel like you want to throw everything away listen i've been there I've been at a place in my life where I felt like I wanted to let it all go because I was just angry, frustrated, people weren't understanding me, people didn't get it, but I took time to get up, get myself together, and say, you know what, maybe it's the people that surround me, maybe it's me, I know it's me, I know I'm having a hard time, I know I'm stressing, I know I'm going through a tough time, but yet at the same time, there are some people who are not understanding me or not getting me through or not getting me the right sources to get me right. So I need to take time to step out on faith, do what I have to do, admit what do I have, what I have going on in my life, and then as I go through, I start to heal. And when I heal, I love myself. And when I love myself, I can love the next person. And when I can love the next person, I can generate more fruit for everyone else that's around me. That's what it's about. That's what the whole life in the circle is all about. You need to be able to receive in order to give, okay? You can give, but you need to give with purpose. Give with intentions that you know that is right. And when you give it to them, if they don't want it, it's okay. Someone else will. That's another subject for something else in so many different ways that you can probably think in your mind right now. So guys, ending this off, shutting this down, coming down to the last part. Guys, I want you guys to be inspired by what you see. Be inspired by what's around you. Be inspired by where you're going. Cause you know, at, when it all falls down, you're sleeping in that bed by yourself or with someone who's supposed to be inspired by you, okay? And they supposed to be they supposed to be inspired by you no matter what, okay? So you need to step yourself up, challenge yourself at the best way that you can, and go the extra mile. Just go, just go. That's it. That's all you have to do. Just go, okay? So I take this moment, just a few minutes of your time, to tell you never give up on yourself because it ain't time to give up. It ain't time to. To let go it ain't time to just give up it ain't time so put anything that's in your hand for that person that's out there put it down any anger that you got let it go any resentment you have for somebody let it go it's time to be a man it's time to be a woman it's time to be a young man it's time to be a young woman and admit to your problem admit to your understanding and then start circling around yourself around people who wants to give you the very best Okay, people who are gonna pour fruit and pour into your glass and have you overflow. But guess what? The main person who can do it the most is God himself. I just wanna let you know that. That's just my personal opinion, my personal feeling. That's my spirit speaking to you to let you know I have overcame so much because of God. Okay, I need you guys to understand that it's serious in this world. This world has changed in so many ways. It's gonna continue to change it. It changed before you, during you, and after you. So okay, guys, get your size, get yourselves ready. The new coming, the new thing, the new happening. Okay, there's so many ways we can go about this conversation, but do not give up on your life because people are watching you. People are inspired by you. Whether it's a niece, nephew. If you ain't have kids, you have a niece and nephew or somebody out there who's looking at you, some little boy, some little girl is checking you out. Somebody on Instagram, somebody on Facebook, somebody on YouTube, somebody on TikTok, somebody out there. I don't care what it is, Snapchat, you call it whatever you want. They're watching you. They following you for a reason. It's not because you just make good videos. It's because it's something that they like inside of you. Okay, get it together guys, let's go. Let's do this together guys. We all in this together. Let's grind, let's work, be happy, be inspiring, be daring, and let's take action. Okay, we all in this together, all right? From your boy, motivation to you. Never let up. Don't give up on your life. Peace.